A lot of people say that the best way to learn filmmaking is just get out there and make as many films as you can. And I totally agree with this, but I also think you have to be a little bit more active in the process. So that's why I've put together this list of things you can do which will really challenge you so that you can make sure that you're learning as much as you can from those experiences. Hello, my name is Simon Cade, and this is DSLR Guide. So a lot of people say that one of the best ways to help your creativity is to kind of limit yourself. So that's what a lot of these ideas are based around. The fact that if you just say, I want to make a film, then you have endless possibilities of topics and ways that you can do it, and there's just kind of so many things to choose from that it actually makes it more difficult to make those decisions. So that's what a lot of these things are. So the first one is to find a really old story that's no longer in copyright and to make a short film which is a modern interpretation of that story. So the idea with this one is that you don't have to write a story at all. All you have to do is adapt your the story into a script and into a modern script. So the idea is that it will be really good for someone who's starting out because it's not too overwhelming and it will really give you a good chance to focus on the way that you tell the story rather than what the story is, which is a very important part of filmmaking. So the next one, I challenge you to make five films that are each seven seconds long. So the idea with this one is that if you really want to make the most out of it, then each one should be totally separate from each other. And the idea is that you have a kind of basic storyline or punchline. The idea being that you either will lead up to and then deliver by making someone laugh or making them think or just having that kind of ending, really strong ending. I think that's important in a seven second video. So this is a really good lesson in kind of condensing your story and keeping it simple just to those really important core things. And if you want any inspiration, check out Vine. There's tons of really clever stories on there which have been done really well. So the next one is to recreate a scene from one of your favorite movies. Now this is something I've done quite a few times and I have to say every single time I learn tons of stuff because not only is it a great technical exercise in seeing how close you can get to the original in terms of lighting, editing, working with actors and camera work, but also it's the best form of kind of analysis of learning the language of cinema, where not only are you watching a film and breaking it down, but you're also actually recreating it. And that really helps you to get inside the heads of the filmmakers. And then if you want to, you can reverse engineer it back into your work to the point where you say, well, if this filmmaker used this kind of lighting, then I might want to use that same kind of lighting if I do a similar scene. Or, you know, you kind of take all of these different ideas and merge them into your own so that it's kind of your own creative decision. So the next one is to make a short film that fits a pre-recorded piece of music. So I think one of the hardest parts of filmmaking is choosing or writing music that fits with a film. So this is a really good exercise in learning the relationship between music and film. So what you do is you just find a bit of music that you want to use and then you sit down and close your eyes and imagine the film that would be playing alongside that piece of music and then you just do your best to make that film exactly. Now if you want some inspiration in for a time when music is used really well in filmmaking, I think one of the best ones is the battle scene from Gladiator. So I highly recommend that one. Go watch Gladiator if you haven't seen it already. The bit at the end of the battle scene is so powerful and I think that's largely due to the music. So the next one is to make a short film every month for six months. Now I think this would be an amazing exercise for any filmmaker because it's just guaranteed that you'll learn so much from doing this. And even if you don't learn much on the technical side, which it's, like I said, pretty much guaranteed that you will, you'll definitely, definitely, definitely learn lots about timekeeping and meeting deadlines, which is, to be honest, one of the most important parts of filmmaking. And no matter what kind of filmmaker you are, you'll need to work to deadlines and be able to work quickly and efficiently. So I think this is an extremely worthwhile thing to do. So the next one is to find something really interesting and make a short documentary about it. So the idea with this one is that you find maybe an event or an organization and then make a film that really focuses on the people around that event or thing. So the idea again is that you really want to focus on interesting people and interesting things so that you make a interesting documentary. And then also think about the way as you're filming, you always want to be kind of making that story in your head of thinking, how's this going to fit with the edit of having a nice ending and having, you know, a kind of story, even though it is reality so you're kind of doing your best to kind of shape that into an interesting story but a good kind of standard thing to do is just find you know the most interesting person you know and make a film about them 
And the last one is to make a short film with a plot twist. So this is a very good lesson in knowing your audience. You can communicate to them certain ideas, but then reveal that actually things were not how they seemed. And this is, when done well, it makes a really good story. And I think there'd be a lot to learn in terms of communication and storytelling from doing this exercise. So that's it for my seven ideas for ways to challenge yourself as a filmmaker. Now, I think that if you did any of these, you would learn a lot. But I do just want to highlight that the focus here is to tell stories with these kind of frameworks because it would be very easy to kind of take the easy way out and just make a film that ticks the box of the criteria but doesn't actually make an entertaining film, which is what the end goal is. So if you can do that, then you'll be really, really onto something and learning even more. But sometimes you have to learn that the hard way, so you just make a lot of films that don't have very good storylines. That's what I've done, and I'm still doing. So, you know, it's all learning, so just get out there and make as much as you can, like I said at the start. But this is hopefully some ideas for those of you who might be struggling with ideas. So that's it for this week. I would like to remind you that on my Twitter, I'm now going to be sharing some more tips like this, the same sort of idea alongside my other tips that I do on Twitter, as well as sharing some other videos that other people have made that have inspired me with filmmaking. So that's it for this week, and I'll see you next time.